The Dequa pyramid, also known variously as the Dequa hierarchy, refers loosely to a class of models for representing purported structural and or functional relationships between data, information, knowledge, and wisdom. Typically, information is defined in terms of data, knowledge in terms of information, and wisdom in terms of knowledge. The DEQA acronym has worked into the rotation from knowledge management. It demonstrates how the deep understanding of the subject emerges, passing through four qualitative stages. In addition to a hierarchy and a pyramid, the DEQA model has also been characterized as a chain, as a framework, as a series of graphs, and as a continuum. Before going into detailed descriptions of the four stages, I want to briefly summarize the key definitions for each stage and how they are related. 1. Data is discrete, objective facts or observations. 2. Information is organized or structured data, relevant for a specific purpose, and therefore useful. 3. Knowledge is a mix of framed experience, values, contextual information, expert insight and grounded intuition that provides an environment and framework for evaluating and incorporating new experiences and information. 4. Wisdom involves using knowledge for the greater good and the ability to make sound judgments and decisions apparently without thought. Rowley characterizes data as being discrete, objective facts or observations, which are unorganized and unprocessed and therefore have no meaning or value because of lack of context and interpretation. In the subjective domain, data are conceived of as sensory stimuli, which we perceive through our senses, or signal readings, including sensor and or sensory readings of light, sound, smell, taste, and touch. Data is consistently defined to include symbols, or sets of signs that represent empirical stimuli or perceptions, of a property of an object, an event or of their environment. Data are recorded, captured or stored, symbols, including words, text and or verbal, numbers, diagrams, and images, still and or video, which are the building blocks of communication, the purpose of which is to record activities or situations, to attempt to capture the true picture or real event, such that all data are historical, unless used for illustrative purposes, such as forecasting. Rowley describes information as organized, structured data, which has been processed in such a way that the information now has relevance for a specific purpose or context, and is therefore meaningful, valuable, useful and relevant. Information is differentiated from data in that it is useful. Information is inferred from data, in the process of answering interrogative questions, for example, who, what, where, how many, when, thereby making the data useful for decisions and or action. Information is defined as data that are endowed with meaning and purpose. Knowledge is a fluid mix of framed experience, values, contextual information, expert insight and grounded intuition that provides an environment and framework for evaluating and incorporating new experiences and information. It originates and is applied in the minds of knowers. In organizations it often becomes embedded not only in documents and repositories but also in organizational routines, processes, practices and norms. Mirroring the description of information as organized or structured data, knowledge is sometimes described as 1. Synthesis of multiple sources of information over time, 2. Organization and processing to convey understanding, experience, and accumulated learning, and 3. A mix of contextual information, values, experience and rules. A recent text describes knowledge as information connected in relationships. In the subjective domain, knowledge is a thought in the individual's mind, which is characterized by the individual's justifiable belief that it is true. It can be empirical and non-empirical, as in the case of logical and mathematical knowledge, for example, every triangle has three sides, religious knowledge, for example, God exists, philosophical knowledge, for example, cogito ergo sum, and the like. Note that knowledge is the content of a thought in the individual's mind, which is characterized by the individual's justifiable belief that it is true, while knowing is a state of mind which is characterized by the three conditions. 1. The individual believes that it is true. 2. He can justify it. And, 3. It is true, or it, appears, to be true. Wisdom is knowing the right things to do and the ability to make sound judgments and decisions apparently without thought. Wisdom involves using knowledge for the greater good. Because of this, Wisdom is deeper and more uniquely human. It requires a sense of good and bad, right and wrong, ethical and unethical. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Love of Learning channel to see more videos like this one. The two videos shown on the screen might interest you. Click on them to learn more.